Ay, so just like nung uh, SRTF, so ito naman si preemptive priority. So as the name goes, we have here a preemptive type na algorithm. Okay, so preemptive. Now, ang ginagamit niyang criteria, counterpart no ng NPP natin, this will be priority. Yung gagamitin niyang criteria dito. So, ibig sabihin, kung alin yung mas higher priority, so yun yung unahin. So, kamukha rin ang implementation natin ng NPP, so ganun din siya. Yun nga lang, merong preemption na nangyayari. Okay? So, let's try to check kung paano ba ito nangyayari. Okay. So, again, you have time zero. Ganun pa din. And then, you have your P4. Dahil wala namang ibang process, so technically, si P4, papasok na yan. And then, kailangan tumigil at time 3. Okay? Kasi yun yung may next na darating. So, ilan yung nagamit ni P4? Nagamit niya ay tatlo. So, this will be 4. Okay, so next one, nandiyan pa rin si P4, and then yung bagong dating natin, you have your P1. Okay, so after that, check natin yung priority level. So ilagay na natin dito para hindi tayo malito. So P4 is 1, and then P2 natin is 2. So kamukha na sinabi natin nung una sa NPP, so basically, uh, yung 1, that will be yung higher priority, and then, habang lumalaki yung value, pababa ng pababa, yung priority. Okay? So, higher priority natin si P4. So, technically, babalik ko siya dito. So, yan. Kailangan niya mag-stop ng time 5. Okay? Time 5. Kasi may darating na process. So, we have your time 5. So, ilan yung na-consume niya? So, dalawa. So, this will be 2. Next, nandiyan pa rin si P4, nandiyan pa rin si P1, and then yung bagong dating natin na P2. Lagay uli natin yung mga priority level nila para hindi tayo malito. So, this will be 1 para kay P2. Now, ayan. So, through this, tatlo yung active na process natin dito. Dalawa yung merong high na priority level. So, again, kung ito yung criteria natin, lowest burst time yung magiging uh, criteria. Okay? So, nagtay si P2 tsaka si P4. Lowest burst time si P4. So, siya yung mauuna. Ayan. So, mag-stop to at time 7. Kasi ubos na yung burst time. So, this will be 0. Cancel out na natin to. Okay. Tapos na si P4. Nanyan pa rin si P1. And nanyan si uh, P2. Now, May darating na process nung time 8. Okay? So, sino yung ipaprocess natin sa dalawang to? So, that will be P2 kasi higher priority. Okay? So, si P2 hanggang time 8 lang to magpaprocess. So, bakit again? May darating na bagong process at time 8. Ayun, si P4. Si P2, nag-consume lang siya ng isa. So, this will be 8. Okay, so sulat pa rin natin, nandiyan si P1, active pa rin si P2. Yung bagong dating natin dito, so you have your P3. Priority level, 2, 1, and then you have your 2. Now, by this time, si P2 pa rin yung higher na priority among them. Okay, so ipaprocess pa rin natin to. So you have your P2, and then... Ang laki pa ng burst time ni P2. May darating ng time 12. So, kailangan to mag-stop ng time 12. From 8 to 12, so that would be 4. So, 4 na lang yung matitira doon. Now, you have here P1, you have P2, you have P3, and yung bagong dating natin na P5. So, yan. Check natin yung mga priority. You have 2, you have 1, you have 2, and then you have 1 for P5. Now, apat yung current process natin ngayon kay RAM natin. So, dalawa yung high priority. So, again, dahil tayo ito, natin yung burst time nila. So, mas mababa yung burst time ni P2 over kay P5. So, basically, 
pupunta na dito si uh, P2. Now, dahil dumating na lahat yung process natin, NPP na lang to. So, dire-diretsyo na. Okay? I-consume na natin lahat ng burst time niya. So, you have your 16. Now, dahil ubus na to, cancel out na natin to. Zero na. Okay? So, next, ang high priority na lang dito, si P5. So, again, kamukha na sinabi natin, wala nang ibang darating na process, pwede na itong magdire-diretsyo. Okay? So, you have your 6. So, this will end at time 22. Okay. So, next one. Tapos na to. So, you have P1 and P, uh, P3 na lang. Na both low yung priority. So, again, check natin ngayon. So, P1 and P3. So, eto. Pareho sila ng priority. Check natin yung burst time. So, pareho na naman ang burst time. So, again, eto. Yung gagamitin natin criteria. Okay, earliest arrival time natin is P1 over KP3. So, P1 muna tayo. Okay, so this will end at time 26. And then lastly, so you have your P3 at time 30. Okay, so time 30, so tapos na uli. So, ganun na naman. So, CPU utilization. Okay, so sum nito, so this will be 30 over 30, so times 100, so you have 100% utilization. So again, so end time, you have turnaround and then you have your waiting time, so you have P3 at time 30, and then P1, 26, P5 is 22. P2 times 16 and P4 times 7. Okay. And time minus arrival. So this will be 23. This will be 11. And then you have 22. You have 7. And then you have your 10. Turn around minus burst time. So again, to get the waiting time. So this will be 19. And then, this will be, that will be 9. So, this will be 2. Ayan. And then, you have your 18. You have your 7. So, this will be 0. And then, then you have 4. Okay. So, this will be our uh, turnaround and waiting time. So, we need to compute for average turnaround and average waiting time. So, compute tayo. Okay, so for average turnaround time, so sum nito, so this will be 73 over 5, kasi lima yung process. So this will be 14.60. Okay, so next one, so we have 19 plus 2, we have... Ayan, so for the average waiting time, so this will be 43 over 5. So, this will be 8.60. So, yeah. So, this will be our average turnaround and average waiting time.